Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create small charts for weekly performance. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these six small charts to show the weekly performance. So here you can see the data. I have day and the service level. I have connected all the charts with this data set. However, you can use it for different different data set. Now I'll show you how it works. So here we have day and the service label and you can see these small bar are displaying the day by service label. If I will change the value here, let's say 25, then that value will be changed automatically. So these charts can be used in Excel dashboard wherein you have very less place to put your chart then it will make your dashboard more eye-catching. Now I'll tell you how can you create this quickly in Microsoft Excel. So let's start. I'm going to copy this data and I will add a new worksheet. Just click on this plus button and I will paste this data here. First of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. Now I'll take few support columns to create this chart. The first, I'll take the first letter of the day. So I'll use left formula here, left, then day, and I'll use comma one. So I'll get the first letter of the day. Because our chart is very small, we will display only first letter of the day. Now here we will take another column, which is the max value. So max value of the service level can be 100%. So I'll put here 100%. Alright, so now I will select this column and the service label and the max value column. Then I will go to the insert charts and I will insert a simple 2D column chart, this one. Now first of all, I will right click on the axis, go to the format axis and here I will put minimum value as 0, maximum value I will put 1 which means 100% and just close this. Now I'll remove this vertical axis and then I'll go to the chart elements and I will remove the chart title grid lines legends and I will resize this chart pretty small like this. You can resize it as per your requirement whatever size you want to keep. Now I will select the plot area and will resize the plot area in entire chart like this all right now I will click on this vertical axis and font color as black and make it bold and change the size around 8 now I'll select the entire chart and go to the format and I'll give the shape outline as black outline and then shape effects I'll go to the shadow here I'll select this shadow so our chart will look like this now I'll go to the insert and shapes here I'll select this rectangle shape, click on this and just click here. I'll create a square here. You can see the size is one by one. Now I'll select this square, go to the format and shape outline. I'll click on white color. I'll give the white outline and I'll also change the weight. I'll take around 1.5. Then the shape fill, I'll take some gray fill like this, this one. And then I'll make a copy of this and I'll keep this here. Now I'll change the color of this shape. So I'll give some dark color like this one which is dark blue. Now first of all I'll copy this gray shape and here I'll select the max bar and I will paste here simple control B or right click go to the format data series. Here we will go to the fill and line and we'll select picture or texture fill. And then we'll click on clipboard because we have already copied that gray shape. So that shape has been pasted. And now here we will select this stack and scale width. And unit per picture we will put here 10%. So we will put here 0.1, which is 10%. Now we will copy the second shape and we'll select blue columns and paste simple control b then go to the fill and line 
and here we will select again stack and scale width and 0.1 or 0.1 so our chart will look like this now we'll select any of the column right click go to the format data series and here in series option series overlap will take 100% and gap width will take 0% so our chart will look like this now right click on the chart go to the select data here you can see the first series is service level and next is max we will select the max and just move this up so first we will keep max then service level and click on ok our chart is ready and now simply you can create your other charts also if you want make sure you always take some dark color here so that it will look more eye catching i quickly show you how to create another chart copy and paste the chart here and now you can go to the select data and change your range and you can connect it with another matrix here i have taken only one matrix i'll show you how can quickly change the color so go to the format and change the color of this like uh, this time i'm taking this violet color copy and just going to paste it here and make another copy so like this you can take these colors these are looking more eye catching so since uh, we have connected our chart with only one data set so all the charts are looking same you can take the other data sets but here i have created these charts you can uh, take the similar color in your dashboard also once your chart is ready you can hide these shapes or you can delete already developed a uh, utility tool i hope you are using that tool if you are not using that you can download it from my website i have given the link in video description box this utility tool is absolutely free i'll show you how it works you can hide any shape available in excel so i have selected these two shapes i'll go to the object manager and i'll click on hide shapes pictures so the shape is hidden now now you also can arrange your chart in proper format quickly just select all the charts and just go to the object manager click on vertical grid and simple put the number of columns that's a three so it has been arranged even if you want to take two columns only then you can or if you want to increase the space between the charts you can take let's say 20 here and i want to take two columns only then our chart will be aligned like this all right so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching